the song. Who's after all the students? Welcome to SHS News, keeping you updated the most. I'm Brittany. And I'm Harrison. Welcome to Staff News High School to the 2011 Dornbacker Week. There's a lot planned for the next two weeks. First event is Burgerville Night on Monday from 4.30 to 8.30 p.m. Then there's the volleyball tournament on Wednesday from 4 to 9 p.m. in the gym. On Thursday at 5 p.m. there is the spaghetti and pizza feed in the cafeteria. Then on Friday there is 50's diner night in the cafeteria at 5 p.m. Finally, on Saturday is the flag football tournament at 4 p.m. at the high school field. Contact your student body council if you have any questions. Now let's get to Jasmine in this week's interview. I'm here today to discuss the frequent issue of harassment between girls in our school. Brooke, what would you define as a bully? I would say a bully is anybody that um, causes physical or emotional harm to another person. Do you see bullying around our school between girls, like harassment in the halls? Um, I do notice harassment, but it's minimal, and I think our, this harassment in our schools is more minimal, um, and it's more silent. What do you think should be done about harassment in our school? Um, our schools tried Unity Week, and we're trying to work on the harassment in our schools, but as we can see, it's not really working, and there's still a lot more harassment. So at this point in time, I think it would be good if we all like sat down and like everybody in the school had a chance to like share what they were feeling, and maybe that would help. Kind of like Mean Girls. So Ellie... What do you define as a bully? Um, I would say a bully is someone who puts others down on purpose. Okay. Um, do you see harassment between girls in the halls? I don't really feel like I pay attention that much, but yes, I feel like there's more harassment between girls than boys. And what do you think should be done about harassment in our school? Um, I think that we should just all unite and come together and be happy. And um, give each other flowers when we're having a bad day. So, Victoria, what do you define as a bully? Um, someone that walks around school and looks down on people that they're, they kind of judge people in a different way and look at you differently than how you really are. Okay. And do you see harassment between girls in the halls? Oh yeah, all the time. I'm harassed all the time also. People will slam the locker in your face. They don't care about you. They'll glare at you. They'll look down on you. They, they'll say stuff behind your back. They'll mimic you, walk behind you and like mimic what you're doing. And it's, it's rude, but yeah. I'm sorry that you have to deal with that. What do you think should be done about the harassment in our school? Um, what I think should be done is that they should have some way that all the girls in the school could sit down and have like a meeting to talk about it. Kind of like how Miss Edge has her debates in her class, something like a debate meeting between all the girls to like explain and confront the actual bully girls in our school. To I'm here with Miss Hayden. So, what is it called when girls harass each other and what are some common forms of harassment? So um, usually harassment is referred to as um, alternative aggression when it happens among girls. That doesn't mean it can't happen among boys, but it's common among females. Forms of harassment are things like ignoring bad looks, um, cyberbullying, where they you know, write nasty notes to each other online, um, texting can get involved. There's all different things that can happen with alternative aggression. Why do you think it is such a big deal here at school? Well, I think um, it's a big deal here at school because it's something that um, starts at a really young age. Some people may believe that, that it's just something that girls, girls are just girls. Girls will be girls type of a thing. It does start at as early as kindergarten where girls um, are mean and aggressive in ways where it's not noticeable to others. And it's something that uh, is a problem among just the female population as a whole. And it just continues on from elementary to middle school to high school. And even after that, it doesn't stop when people graduate. Uh, they, don't start, uh, they don't stop being bullies or aggressors. You know, after they, it's not like, ta-da, I'm now, a, you know, not a bully when they leave. It, it continues on. Girls are taught to be nice. And um, if they're not nice, if they actually confront you about a problem, then, um, then they're considered to be uh, the B word. Thank you all for your input. 
Harassment has been something that's coming up once again to the surface. It's a very serious issue. So if you know someone who's being harassed or if you are harassing someone, please make it stop. It's not okay and it's not good for a school environment. That's all for it today. Thanks, Jasmine, for that amazing interview. Don't forget that this Sunday is Easter. So I hope everyone has a hopping good time. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll be right back after these short messages. This is Sports, I'm Tanner, and I'm Ben. Track has a meet at YC on Thursday, and on Saturday they compete against Centennial High School. Softball has a home game against Tillamook at 4, and baseball also has a home game against YC at 5, both on, both on Thursday. Here's our athlete of the week. Nice job. Boys JV Golf has a match against Astoria Friday. Girls Golf has a a match against Rainier on Wednesday. Now here's Sage with the interview. I'm standing here with varsity baseball player Chris Neifert. So, what positions do you usually play? Play outfield, and then I pitch. Who is your guys' biggest competition? Uh, I'd say probably Astoria, but they'll begin theirs. <laughs> Who are you guys about to play today? Banks. What are you guys' biggest strengths on the team? Um, besides me, I would say pretty experienced. Is there anything you'd like to say to your team? Um, no. All right, Tanner, back to you. Thanks, Sage, so for this week. I'm Tanner, and I'm Ben. Bye. Thanks, guys. That was awesome. Now let's go to Justin and the weather. Dead nuts get boost in the end. Thanks, Harrison. I'm here at the Scappoose High baseball field. It's warm, it's sunny, it's pretty nice. Problem is, the sun is slowly getting closer to the earth. And, well, the Incas were right. By 2012, this entire place will be engulfed by the sun. Everything will be on fire. Life as we know it will be gone. This is Justin Wright, signing off. Justin for that okay forecast. I'm sorry, I just had to say okay. Well, thanks for tuning in to SHS News. If you have any questions or anything you'd like us to address, please email us at shs.newscrew at gmail.com. That's shs.newscrew at gmail.com. I'm Harrison. And I'm Brittany. Have a great Easter. Shazam! I love my tribe, I love my tribe. We want to give a shout out to Brittany and Shelby. I'd like to give a shout out to Sean and Tyler because they're running for president. Yay!